Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been here in a hot minute but I will explain all of that in my next video. I just feel like I want to dive into YouTube again and just film something and I love to do reviews so today I'm gonna do a review. Today I will be comparing the oh so raved about Patrick Star Translucent Setting Powder. I'm not even sure it's called Translucent Patrick's Powder. Okay, we're gonna try Patrick's Powder today and we're gonna compare it to the oh so loved Laura Mercier. And I have been looking just not really to replace my Laura Mercier because I don't really think anything can replace it. We'll see today though. I just feel like I've heard so many good things about this powder that like how smooth it is. It doesn't give you any flashback and all of that. And I'm just curious. I got this in PR. Thank you to MAC for sending me this and uh yeah there's not really much more to it uh if you want to see the comparison that i will be doing today between these two powders then keep on watching but first Okay guys, so now we are actually going to test out the powders and obviously I have the new Patrick Star setting powder and this setting powder comes in the collection that Patrick Star uh, created with MAC and I think it is available on every MAC website there is uh, in every country. I'm not sure. I will, however, leave the info down below if it is available in your country or not. I will apply the Laura Mercier on my left side. Will that be my left side to you? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. So for this, I did actually buy myself two new Real Technique sponges. These are completely, completely new and there's no product on these and I will not put any product on these except for water. There it is. <laughs> so I have my glass of water here. Um, I didn't have a clean bowl so I just figured that this is this is good enough. It's it's big enough. So I will put these in here just so that you guys just so you guys can see that what's happening here in this video. Wow, can you guys see that? These are supposed to be completely new sponges and the water is all... I'm scared now. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, can you guys see this? This is like milk. Maybe, maybe they do look like this when they're new. I don't know. Anyways, I bought this in a legit H&M store, so... I should just send Sam and Nick, like the creators of Real Techniques, a little, a little email and ask them why the f*** they have milk in their sponges. That will be an interesting conversation. So I'm just going to put my Laura Mercier powder here so that you guys can see it. Um, so yeah, now we are just going to go in with the Patrick Star one first. So let's see if we have any product. Ooh, wow. Okay. This is pink. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit. So this is what the powder looks like. It is very, very pink toned. Okay. So now I am just going to dip my sponge. Okay. And then we are just going to press it on like I normally would. So like that. That's good. I don't know if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, if you guys don't know what this is or why I am putting so much powder on my face, this is called baking and I just basically lock in my foundation and my, um, and my concealers and all of that and it will be like bulletproof. You can go through a tornado with this stuff. So I'm just putting this around my smile lines around here and then also 
half of my chin. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it does not look pink when you apply it. It definitely doesn't. It just transform into this um, very light, translucent setting powder. So yeah, it looks good for now. Anyways, now I'm just going to set half of my forehead. Okay, I'm just gonna set the entire uh, in between my brow area. I don't know what you guys call that, but uh, in between my brows with the Patrick Star Powder because I just really want to see how it holds up because I usually get very, very oily here and it's just such a small area so I can't really go in with both powders. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. I will not carve out my... Uh, this area, I usually just do that with a lighter type of powder. So, yeah, we're now moving on to the Laura Mercier. Wow, I have so much powder here. So now I am just putting this where I had my Laura Mercier. Like that. By the way, guys, I just really have to say this because it's just... When they announced that Patrick Starr would get his own collection with MAC Cosmetics... I was like, I was so, so happy for him. It was like, unreal. And the only reason for that is because it's just, you know, us influencers have been getting a lot more attention and, you know, a lot more. I'm just going into the Laura Mercier powder here. A lot more attention and brands have been wanting to work with uh, influencers a lot more. And, you know... Uh, been been trusting us. It's weird to say us, but um, I am a part of the beauty community So I guess that I can say us um, a lot more because um, I remember just a few years ago when Mac only wanted to do uh, You know collections with real celebrities if you will. It's just so nice to see that companies nowadays especially such huge and iconic companies like MAC to see that they actually like trust us and that they you know believe in us which is you know it's it's crazy because me I like I have always looked up to MAC like I bought my first MAC lipstick when I was god how old was I I think I was 16 or something and I was so, I, rem I remember, I was so, so happy. I still have that lipstick, by the way, and I'm not using it. It's just more or less to remind myself of the fact that I've come pretty far um, in my makeup artistry, but also in my collection of MAC lipsticks. Um, anyways, what I'm trying to say here is that I'm just... I'm just so happy that brands like finally recognize the fact that us influencers and us makeup artists are equally as I don't know valuable as a as a real quote unquote celebrity. Um, I just feel like when uh, brands do collaborations with real celebrities or whatnot, it just feels weird in a way because. First of all, they never really know how to use it themselves because they got, you know, they got a makeup artist or three that does their makeup for them. Um, so, I mean, I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing shade, of course, but you know. Bottom line is that I'm just very, very happy with this collection because Patrick shows everybody that everybody can make it in a way so congratulations patrick you're definitely worth it um so yeah i have applied all the powder that i need to apply i don't really think that i need to apply anymore um i've applied my laura mercier i've applied my patrick side this is the patrick side this is the laura mercier side so yeah now i am pretty much done so i think that i usually don't bake for that long i know that a lot of people like they bake for 20 minutes. 
I'm more of a five minutes type of gal. I don't really have 20 minutes on my hands usually. Um, I'm happy with five minutes, so I will be back in five minutes. Okay guys, so I actually just got done in time because I don't know if I've told anybody this on social media, but we have construction workers working on our building now. We've had them here for two weeks. They're changing out every single window in the entire apartment, which is kind of annoying because I haven't been able to film in a week. So I actually went up super duper early today so that I would be able to film in the morning for you guys so that I could wear the makeup throughout the day to test the powder out. So if you guys have been hearing noises throughout this video, that is why also. Uh, but anyways, I am now done. So yeah, now I'm just going to go about my day. It is now 9.36. Wow, that's one messy screen, girl. I need to clean that screen. I don't think I will be checking in like in the middle of the day or whatever because I can't because I don't want you guys to hear that noise that they are doing out there because they will start just in a minute now they will start in 20 minutes so i'll talk to you guys in a couple of hours i need to brush my hair but i don't have the energy <laughs> sorry <laughs> hi everybody i'm back so it is now i swear to god there's ghosts in here 22 Oh nine. It is, uh, it's been a while now. It's been 12 hours, hasn't it? I put it on like 10 or something. Yeah, it's been, t it's been, it's been 12 hours. You should never wear your makeup for 12 hours, guys. Just a little side note, it, it's not, it's not good for your skin. But anyways, that is actually a good thing in this case because now we can actually see uh, what's going on here. So like I said before this side was the Patrick Star side and that side was the Laura Mercier side. So I got a new little friend here, but this is not new. I can kind of tell because it has It's it's the uh, it's the uh, mature one. So I think I've had this since yesterday the the, the place <laughs> The place, the area between my brows is just like very, very, very textured. Guys, I didn't even know I had that much texture between my brows. I usually don't, but that might be because I'm using Laura Mercier and Airspun. Mmm. Do you guys want me to zoom in? Because, I mean, it's, it's pretty gross, but okay, let's hold it. Okay, so this is a little bit scary. Don't freak out. I know this is gross, but we will go through this together. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but around here, it is a lot more textured than it is here. Around here, it is very, very shiny, and I almost look muddy here. I actually tried to take that like off just a little bit with a... Um, cotton pad earlier before but i i do look ashy like it doesn't like it doesn't look good at all and i'm not really sure why because i apply the powder just the way i used to um other than that i think it's been it's been holding up pretty good the nose is a little bit shiny but then again my nose is always shiny so i don't really it doesn't really bother me that much. If you can't see, even though I've zoomed you guys in like crazy, you guys just gotta take my word for it. So yeah, this is the situation right here. This is the Laura Mercier side. This is the Patrick Star side. Not gonna lie, it's not bad. It is not bad at all. I would say that it holds up, it holds up pretty good. However, I feel like Maybe I don't want to be this textured because I'm not this textured. Girl, gotta get some Botox, that's for sure. I am going to read you guys a little bit from the website and just go over like how much each container contains <laughs> and the prices and stuff. So we are starting off with the Patrick Star MAC powder. It retails for 30, 
$34? I thought that this would be cheaper than the Laura Mercier. Hold on. And the Laura Mercier retails for $38. Why did I think that the MAC uh, Patrick Star Powder would be cheaper? So they're basically the same price. Um, the Laura Mercier contains 30 milliliters, which is one ounce. And the Patrick Star one contains 30 grams, which is basically 30 milliliters. And it contains 1.1 ounce. I mean, it's pretty, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> good job, Patrick, good job. Uh, however, this powder is sold out almost everywhere. It has not, it has not arrived to Scandinavia yet for anybody of my Scandinavians who's wondering. It will come here soon though. I don't know when. I will definitely, definitely, definitely send Mac an email and ask them. So what are my final thoughts? My final thoughts are, I have no clue how this will work on a person with darker skin. Obviously Patrick is a person of color, but I'm not sure how it will work on a person with a deeper skin tone um, I'm not sure if it would look ashy or how it would look uh, if anybody knows, please leave a comment down below because I would love to know. I just feel like I don't know what Laura Mercier put in this powder, but it's like I will never stop buying this ever. Do I recommend this powder to somebody? Sure but I just feel like they're almost the same price and I would recommend Laura Mercier instead of this. Sorry, Patrick. So yeah, guys, that was the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I love trying out new products, especially products that are extremely hyped and this powder was extremely hyped and sure, it deserves the hype, but is it better than Laura Mercier? No, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'm glad to be back. And if you guys like this type of video, then please give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you guys liked it. If you're not a subscriber yet, then please press the subscribe button. And if you're a subscriber, then please don't forget to turn on my post notifications because YouTube is just playing us all. They don't send out any notifications anymore and even for people that have the notifications on, sometimes doesn't get any notifications. So, I don't know. Press it if you like. <laughs> I don't know, everything is just falling apart. Instagram and their algorithm, Twitter and their algorithm, Facebook is just what is Facebook anymore and whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Now I'm on the outside.